Does the Samsung Note 10 Lite mobile support the carrier aggregation? Many of the people won't talk much about the Note 10 Lite because they use for some days and they shift to another mobile because nowadays many mobiles are releasing every month. But I am using my Samsung Note 10 Lite mobile as my primary device for one year now and I will share whether the carrier aggregation is supported or not in this mobile and I will share what is carrier aggregation and how it actually works. So without making any further delay, let's get into the video. Hi everyone, myself Raj Shekhar and you are already watching Tech Bunny. If you are new here, consider the subscribe button and click the bell icon to the side of it to get every video notification whenever I post a new video in this channel. And also, I had given the Amazon and Flipkart affiliate links. If you are really interested to upgrade this channel, feel free to check the links and purchase whatever the products you like. Just click on the link and purchase like normal. The commission will come to me. When it comes to the, this mobile, the Samsung Note 10 Lite is a very good mobile in 2021 also. I already posted a video how it is actually performing in 2021. If you missed that video, here in the card section you can find that video or else I will leave the link in the description box. And when it comes to the carrier aggregation in this mobile, the carrier aggregation is supported in this mobile. Yes, now also I am using the carrier aggregation. I am getting 4G plus in my mobile. Actually, I am not able to show you. I will show like b-roll uh, how it actually works or else i will share the screenshot also here in the screen so the carrier aggregation is supported in this mobile when it comes to the carrier aggregation i already posted a video about the carrier aggregation what is carrier aggregation and how it actually works for instance i will tell carrier aggregation is nothing like it's advanced for the 4g and lte uh, it will show the 4g plus or lte plus in your mobile i mean in the signal part of the area in your mobile which means that your mobile supports the carrier aggregation and you are using the carrier aggregation. What is the difference between carrier aggregation and normal network coverage? Well, carrier aggregation is nothing like, for example, you are using SIM card. Like actually, personally, I'm using the Airtel. So it's not a sponsored video, okay? So I'm using the Airtel SIM in my mobile. When I go to my home, in that place, there is no carrier aggregation support. And also carrier aggregation will also include the type of the network you are using and the locality also. These two are the main to get the carrier aggregation. So carrier aggregation will use better 4G network. For example, if uh, your mobile is using 4G or LTE, uh, it will get this much of network speed. Uh, for example, I will tell like 8 to 9 Mbps. Example I'm telling, okay, 8 to 9 Mbps. If your mobile connected to the same network with carrier aggregation like 4G plus or LTE plus you will get more than this MBBS. This is for the usage of the carrier aggregation. Uh, this mobile supports the carrier aggregation. I am using the carrier aggregation and coming to the speeds. Yes, I am getting good speeds when compared to the 4G or LTE. But many people uh, in review also they had and told about the carrier aggregation whether it supports or not. Actually carrier aggregation will also require the mobile processor also and also if in case the processor supports the company itself you know uh, these companies will hide the uh, these features and later on for a couple of months after a couple of months or a couple of days they execute like a software update and they tell like a new feature it's not a new feature it is already available itself in the mobile but they are giving it back I mean in previous they are hiding it and now they are giving it back to the user. The final conclusion point of this video is the Note 10 Lite support the carrier aggregation. That's all about the video guys and I hope this video would really helpful for the people who are searching for the carrier aggregation in Samsung Note 10 Lite. Even I am also one of the guy like you uh, searched for carrier aggregation while I am purchasing this mobile and no one, no one had told about this one. If you search for the carrier aggregation also, they won't tell. They will, instead of that, they will tell you need to install an app, Speed Monster app, I think. Uh, you need to check the bands or something like that. But if mobile support the carrier aggregation, it will directly show 4G plus or LTE plus in the notification area. Then again, why you need to install a Speed Monster app or any extra app in your mobile? I'm not getting what it is. So yeah, uh, I think it's really helpful for the people and thanks guys, thanks for watching and subscribe to Tech Bunny for more interesting tech videos. That's all about the video guys and see you in the next one.